welcome language learners from all around the globe to Listen Up, the podcast that takes you on a captivating voyage through the English language. Whether you've just started your journey or have been navigating the intricacies of English for some time, this podcast is designed to be your trusty compass, guiding you towards fluency and unlocking the wonders of English. I'm your host, Karen, a passionate traveller and an experienced teacher of English as a second language. Join me as we embark on an exciting expedition filled with British history read by a native speaker. Together, we'll conquer the challenges and celebrate the victories of learning English as a foreign language. Each episode of Listen Up will immerse you in a variety of topics from aspects of British culture, history and literature. We'll explore useful vocabulary that will empower you to communicate confidently in English. If you want to read along with the podcast, head to my website www.onepawinthesand.com slash ESL. The link is in the description. But this podcast isn't just about learning English in isolation. It's about building a community of language learners, supporting one another and fostering a love of the English language. I encourage you to engage with us through my Patreon page where you can connect with fellow learners, ask questions and share your own language journey. So whether you're sipping tea in Tokyo, walking the streets in Sao Paulo or studying in a bustling cafe in Berlin, Listen Up is here to accompany you on your quest for English fluency. Join me as we embark on this transformative expedition where language becomes an adventure and your dreams of effective communication become a reality. Today's episode is called Death of Giles. The world of art and humour has been blessed with many creative minds, but few have left a mark like Giles, the renowned British cartoonist. With a sharp wit and a keen eye for societal nuances, Giles breathed life into his characters and captivated audiences for decades. Born Ronald Giles on September 29, 1916, in London, Giles exhibited an early affinity for drawing. His journey as a cartoonist began in the late 1930s, when he joined Reynolds News as a cartoonist. His distinctive style soon caught attention, and by 1943, he gained a prominent spot in the Daily Express. Over the years, Giles became a household name, renowned for his humorous and incisive social commentaries. Giles's cartoons were not mere sketches. They were intricate compositions that resonated with the masses. His characters, particularly the Giles family, were relatable reflections of British life. The dynamic interplay of family members each with distinct personalities, formed the core of his art. Through their interactions, Giles ingeniously highlighted the everyday struggles, joys and eccentricities of post-war British society. Giles's genius lay in his ability to intertwine satire with warmth and humanity. His keen observations of British society allowed him to create cartoons that were not just humorous, but deeply reflective. Whether it was political satire, domestic scenes or absurd situations, Giles's work offered layers of meaning that resonated with a diverse audience. Giles's impact extended beyond his drawings. The annual publication of Giles' cartoon books became a tradition eagerly awaited by fans. His humour bridged generational gaps, making him a favourite across age groups. Giles' cartoons also played a crucial role during times of crisis, offering solace and comic relief during World War II and other challenging periods. Though Giles passed away on this day, 27th of August 1995, his legacy remains alive and well, with his cartoons continuing to be celebrated and shared. 
His unique ability to blend satire with empathy has inspired generations of artists and cartoonists. His influence is evident in contemporary satire, where his tradition of using humour as a lens to examine society's quirks remains a powerful tool. And that wraps up another episode of Listen Up. I hope you enjoyed learning about my topic today and practicing your English. Remember, the exploration doesn't have to end here. If you have any lingering questions or want to continue the conversation, I've got some great opportunities for you. First off, I offer private lessons for those of you eager to expand your knowledge further, whether it's practicing today's subject or exploring other topics. I'm here to guide you on your English journey. Reach out to me through my website or social media platforms and let's embark on a personalized learning experience together. I have been involved with training people for more than 10 years. I've been teaching English as a second language for over a year, in which time I have taught over 500 students, many of whom are regulars. But wait, there's more. If you're a devoted fan of Listen Up and want to show your support, consider joining our Patreon community. Your contribution directly helps us bring you more episodes and maintain the quality of our show. Your support truly means the world to me and we couldn't continue this podcast without you. So whether you choose private lessons or Patreon or both, I look forward to staying connected and exploring the fascinating realms of English as a second language together. Thank you once again for joining us on Listen Up. Until next time, keep practicing. Thank you.